Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon video And we are at the part we've all been waiting for Rainbow Rocket now. I've been looking forward to this Before I got the game. This is the main thing I wanted to do and It was a long grind to get here, but we finally got here after you beat the elite four after you catch stack attacker You will go back home and then as soon as you leave your room You'll uh, you'll be brought to festival plaza where team rocket has taken over You'll just go straight on into Festival Plaza, and then from here you want to go talk to the first grunt by the Battle Agency, and then that will be the, where the Battle Agency starts. You'll have to rent a Pokemon team, and pretty much you'll just have to beat one of the grunts with the rental team, which is pretty sick. This is just like Pokemon Stadium when you would use rental Pokemon, so this is actually pretty cool. They just give you like a little introduction to the Battle Agency, right? So here we go. My team had Lucario on it. And he was able to sweep the pretty much the entire Grunt's team, which was perfect for me. Um, I'm pretty sure there's three uh, three determined teams you can pick from. Not exactly sure what they all consist of, but uh, if you want to go ahead and pick the same one as me, uh, feel free to do so. It definitely worked well for me. It might be better. Don't take my word for it. But yeah, as you can see here, my Lucario doing work, going hard on the stadium. And uh, pretty much right after this... We'll head, um, we'll end up heading back home, and then, uh, you'll see that the author of Paradise got, uh, taken over by, uh, Rainbow Rocket, and then you're gonna want to head there, but before that, you probably want to have a lot of revives, a lot of potions on you, um, full heals, paralyzed heals, uh, a lot of them like to use toxic moves to make you, uh, poisoned, so you might want to come prepared for that. Uh, you also will probably want to have a really good leveled up team going on. You might want to use the uh, the Chansey and Blissey uh, level up method to boost up your level. Or you could just go through the Ultra Wormhole. Catch a few legendaries or even a, one legendary would be fine. You want to have the best Pokemon possible going into this. Because all the bosses, basically all the rivals from the past, they're all going to have a, uh, a legendary from their specific uh, game and region. So... It's not going to be too easy, especially when you get to Giovanni when he has his Mega Mewtwo. So you want to be prepared. It took me a lot. I don't have, like, I don't really have super high level Pokemon. I don't have legendaries besides Necrozma on there. So definitely took me a while. It took me a lot of revives and a lot of just heals and all that. So definitely be prepared. That's my best advice for you. But yeah, it's definitely the most difficult thing in the game, which is a good thing because... We haven't really had anything too difficult throughout the game, so to have this one thing that's pretty difficult is uh, really good for the game. I personally feel that the Rainbow Rocket part should have been into the actual storyline. I feel like it could have easily been implemented into the storyline to where, you know, everything could have connected. And you didn't have to wait till the, the post-game to finally uh, get to Rainbow Rocket, which... Is what they marketed. They marketed Rainbow Rocket as the main thing for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which everyone was hyped for it, and we find out we don't get to do it all the way to the post game after we beat the Elite Four, which kind of sucks because a lot of stuff that was advertised for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon takes place after the uh, after the Elite Four, which we have to spend all that time grinding through the same Sun and Moon storyline. But I would have to say the post game does make it worth it once you get here. Maybe not so much when you're grinding through. And uh, yeah, as you can see in the video, I am skipping the grunt battles because, you know, those are just simple. Usually there'll be like one Pokemon each, a Golbat, Eradicate, uh, Arbok. So I'll skip all those. I'll show the main battles like right here. Um, basically you're going to have to battle with Lily who only has one Clefairy and once the Clefairy goes down... You're on your own, two on one, the rest of the game. I found it was kind of annoying because Hypno comes into play and they keep using Hypnosis. So be prepared for that. Like I said before, if you don't have the proper leveled Pokemon, this is, it will be very, very difficult. So I highly recommend going out there and grinding up some Pokemon so you have a, a little bit of an easier time going through the uh, Rainbow Rocket. But yeah, once you go in there... I pretty much highlight the entire uh, the entire walkthrough of the entire Rainbow Rocket Castle. Um, you have to go through a lot of pretty much classic stuff where you would see like the um, the little teleport portals. 
you go into different rooms, you have to go around people, you have to find the right one that goes to the right room. Then you also got the arrow pads from the, uh, the original Pokemon games where you would get pushed in the direction of the arrow and you have to find the right uh, combination of arrows to get to where you want to go. So they had a, a lot of these little mini things in each room that basically you can see from the original Pokemon games which I thought was really cool. Uh, I remember all from the original Pokemon Red and Blue and then uh, even in Gold and Silver. Yeah, after you feast the first two rivals you want to go behind them towards the posters. There's going to be a button behind the posters. I show it in the video. You basically hit those and then you'll unlock the upstairs for both sides. You go to those and there'll be some other little mini games in those where you'll have uh, the meow sensors that you want to turn so you can get the uh, the right path to go to the portal. And then there's also a color pattern little mini game where you have to watch the color patterns and then you want to go on those platforms in that order to, uh, to unlock the next portal which is probably the most difficult one but it's all a little fun mini game that's kind of nostalgic from the original Pokemon games for Team Rocket. So I thought that was really cool. Um, as far as the rivals go, I feel like they could have had a few more rivals in there. But having the uh, the old rivals from all the old games, I thought was really cool. Especially having Giovanni in here. Uh, definitely be prepared to battle him because he's going to be the hardest battle you're going to face. Um, especially with his Mega Mewtwo, like I said. So be prepared, guys. Anyway, you'll see in the rest of the video uh, what I actually do to go through the each mini game if you want help getting through a part. Um, also, you can watch my battles versus all the rivals. And that should wrap it up for this video, guys. I've been working hard to get a lot more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon content coming up. A lot of how-to videos for how to catch certain Pokemon, how to evolve certain Pokemon, how to get all the totem stickers, and how to do just a bunch of different stuff. I have so much coming, guys. So I want to work and get all that up as quick as I can for you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And that should do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed Rainbow Rocket, make sure you drop a like and drop a comment. See you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.